I had a heavy lunch. I do apologize, sir. Locked. And loaded. Do you own a cell phone? Or a watch? Mr. Goldman. What kind of questions are we asking here? The kind of answers will depend on your continued employment here. Come on, man. I spent an hour talking to your father before I left. You're 30 minutes late. Can't an old man be given grace? No. Whoa. I pay you well. Prioritize your time. Understand. Punctuality is mandatory. Time is money. If your medication won't work for you. I'm still having issues getting access to the ones I desperately need. The one that improves your cognitive abilities is what you need most. With all due respect, sir. My blood pressure pills are important too. Quiet has kept keeping sufficient blood flow to the part that matters most, if you know what I mean. Who gives a rat's fucking ass? Never will I care. If it doesn't make money. Tell me how you really feel then. These are your issues, not mine. You don't care, I get it. But you should be happy to know. The young tenderonies and honeys are calling a lot more. It's been stressful trying to meet their demands. But since I've been working for you, oh yes. Worth every minute. All the lucrative real estate tips and information you gave me. Thank you. You are one smooth operator. I do have more questions if you don't mind. Have a seat. This creepy cougar tried to shoot her shot man I was up and out of there. Miss Doubtfire meets Godzilla on steroids. Anyway, locked and loaded like you said. Let's talk business, shall we? Oh man. Please forgive me, Mr. Goldman. I get agitated and anxious sitting here, listening to the computer keys. Drives me crazy. I need a drink. Turn down the volume on your hearing aid. Problem solved. And next time, take a flatulent medication before entering my building. Don't worry. I wear the necessary undergarments to protect just in case. You think I come unprepared? Shit no. Doesn't matter. You're not a child. That's debatable for sure. Because when the right one gets me started. Look, shit's going down on their ass till I'm tired. I could tell you more, but never mind. Don't. No problem, I'm not slow, I see your body language. And you ought to straighten up yours. I'm not getting into it or being difficult. You drive a hard bargain the way you run things. Absolutely. So I hear you, man. Copy. Although for some time, many financial entities have been under a microscope for scrupulous, unethical practices, you have to be vigilant. A private bank that is recognized for seemingly impeccable investment services 
JP Morgan. 90% of millionaire status choose this option. To answer your question before, if an individual has 3 million in liquid assets, is usually considered setting a financial bar amongst peers. But, you'd have to reach at least 60 for ultra high net worth. I've been saving for many years. Which hasn't moved the needle in your life. I think I heard a cat scratching on the other side of that wall. Joe. Why are you stuck? No financial prosperity until I showed you the way. Go ahead. Give it to me straight, playboy. Because you have chased fast women instead of money for 60 years ironic isn't it the number 60 we spoke about did we are you sure regarding net worth so what I don't think I can change shit now it's never too late regardless I have work to do if Gloria's going to think about seeing me, or give me the opportunity to change her life. Who? Huh? An amazing black queen I met at the hospital. Have you been listening? Where's my strength today? Please remember, I'm older than you. Not by much. Anyway, first time I laid eyes on her I knew I was in love. What hospital is this? I don't like to tell my business. What do I look like? That's all you seem to do. Fair to say. Your answer. Let me see. Here we go. I'm not quite sure. When you get to be my age, the memory isn't what it used to be. I got too much shit on my mind, damn it. And I can't remember half of it. Interesting. How's your wife, Jasmine? I didn't see her in her office. I smell bullshit. No. It hasn't been that long. I already know you better. Than you know yourself. I just hope it's not where I specifically asked you not to go. Get out of your own way. Before it's too late. Easier said than done. I saw a fat person teaching gym aerobics to an athletic fit married couple. Damn it, we've got to stop this shit. Meanwhile, you see. I'm waiting for takeout. This white Karen stared at me like I was breaking loitering rules. We love drinking poison. I almost told that Karen out loud I got your bullshit don't ever test me up in here again. You should have. People these idiots ought to wake up the world is crashing in flames we're doomed. No disagreement here. My eyes tell the story. Richard, I'm sick of teaching. They won't listen. I'll talk to them like this, bam. Hand clapping to help sink the knowledge till they get it right. It's a fucking shame. Same notion can be applied about people pretending to hold their heads up about living in tiny houses. Like what the hell's going on? Your guess is as good as mine. You have to duck as you walk. Can't stand up straight fucking up your spine and shit talking about. This easy cost-efficient living is what you enjoy. 
exactly. If someone is mad at you understand what I'm saying. They will come over, tip your whole house over and run that sick man. Deceased. Nine out of ten. Precisely. You sleep in bed, thinking it's a tornado. No. It's the one you borrowed twenty dollars from. I visited my father last week. I need you to pay one to him. In a few days. No problem. Do what you do best. You already know. Also, Jack Foster's taken care of by me personally. Mash the heat. On the Foster women. However you see fit. Especially. That one-eyed monster. Caroline. Like taking candy from a baby. They talk a lot of shit. They don't deserve leniency. Agreed. They'll be up shit's creek without a pedal. Fucking with me. Terrific. Make shit happen, Mr. Williams. Always call me Joe. I hear you loud and clear. Darling, you weren't in bed when I got up. Were you out in the garage all of this time? Since 6 a.m. I'm exhausted, sweetheart. I can tell. You underestimated, didn't you? That place is a fire hazard waiting to claim lives if I don't stop procrastinating. I always have faith you'll handle what's necessary. Thanks, my love. I try. We're a team forever. Taylor and I could have done half to limit the burden. Well, it certainly isn't completed. How does three sensible people acquire so many possessions they no longer need? A lot of those things I still want, Douglas. If a man wants to stay married, he doesn't throw away his wife and daughter's property without permission. Smart man. Did I tell you you're the best husband in the world and I love you? Yes, you did. Two times last night and again this morning in your special sensual way. You're so gorgeous naked honey I feel myself getting started again. Okay sir, we get the picture. It was amazing as always. I agree, yes, it certainly was. Douglas. I get like this when things are down to the wire. I'm still waiting for a few green lights on new oil contracts. We've traveled this road before. Victory has always been ours. You're right, my love. But of course certain people have to always try and muscle their big fat nose in on things. Certainly. That's the name of the game, Douglas, you know that. Who are we talking about? Who else? I can't read your mind. Honey. I know, you don't have to. When you're deep in thought this way, there's only a few reasons I can think of. Richard Goldman being one of them. He is just not satisfied with what he has. What happened now? Richard bought a country club and a ski lodge in Aspen. Who cares, darling? I do. Heavens, why? Sophia. It's the ones we frequent when we go on vacation. He is a tyrant, this guy. He sickens me. He's trying to undermine me as usual with his subliminal tactics. People buy things, it's a fact of life. We have property as well, Douglas. 
God damn right we do and we didn't take anything like he does. Anyway, this issue is simple sweetheart. We change the itinerary. Now that's just great isn't it? So we have to make new plans for places we love, because of this maniac who can't stop pissing me off. Calm down. I'm not the only one who's under doctor's orders. Your blood pressure numbers were concerning last appointment. Taylor loves these places as well. She's not going to be happy about this. She'll adjust. She always does. Taylor's more mature than you think. True. I hope she got rid of that oversized bum with a terrible fashion sense she used to talk to. He wasn't a bum darling the young man has a job. Young. With ten pounds of hair on his face. You're overthinking. The stubble under his chin. It's been around longer than mine it seems. I love you sweetheart, but wake up. Long as she's safe, thinking clearly. Doing what's important. We're not in danger. Honey, I'm just saying. I have testosterone pumping through my blood. I'm a dignified strong man. I see right through his man-child ways. It's really not that serious. It can be. If we let it get out of hand. We're not. He's hurting for cash and resources. He is a con artist, can't you see? They're just friends anyway. Relax. Don't cover for him. He's shady, acts like a pimp, but he is broke. End of story. It's not alarming he's a little older. Big deal. You have a few years over me. Different times we're living in, Sophia. Don't be gullible and misinformed. Misinformed. I'm sorry, my love. Please accept my apology for being rude. Forgive me. You're my everything. I never want to take anything out on you. Not one second, never. You're forgiven. I understand the stress you're under. What's a marriage, if the person you love, can't be awarded grace? Thank you. Well. I'm going to get you and Taylor's favorite foods we've run out of. Pick up medication. Something else wrong. It's nothing. I don't want you to worry yourself. I'm not worried. Sophia. We've dealt with this before. It can be a rocky set of events, when your stress levels are elevated. I feel fine, hence my trip to the grocery store. Regardless. Doctor says it isn't good for your condition, and it bothers Taylor, something worrisome. It's Sunday. Thank you for going to get the foods we like. I need you home pronto. So I can show you how much this man adores you. I'll try my best not to be long so you can make good on your promise. Promise? Did I use that word or are we making things up? Don't try it Douglas. A foot massage would be wonderful. I'm just kidding. Your favorite lotion, foot bath, a refreshing drink. We'll be waiting with a warm towel. Thank you. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. I just want to be somebody Outside trying to meet somebody Said we just wait too dumb and drunk and I Incredible What is? I've never seen a doctor as gorgeous as you before I'm not disagreeing but I get the impression you don't get out much Working here I meet intelligent beautiful women from all around the world
Of course you do. It's a library. It's more than that. Not really. I'm not going to argue with you. Sir, you don't know me at all. To do anything of the sort. Ma'am. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to ruffle your feathers or ruin your day. I came here for a certain book. But I suddenly have a case of deja vu. I have 30 minutes left. But I'm always willing to help a beautiful queen. Like yourself. Well, I appreciate that. Of course. My name's Michael Cullen. What's yours? If you really wanted to know you'd take a quick glimpse at my name tag. Second, you're doing your job. It's not always necessary to give your name. Ma'am. Pardon me for saying. I like to start things on the right foot. Start things. You can't be serious. Beautiful. I'm just being friendly. No harm in that. What book are you interested in? Now that I think about it. The book. I walked right past it in another aisle. I'll just go back. Thank you for your help. Are you sure? Very. I wouldn't have a job if this place wasn't filled with books. But did you search the internet before coming here? You're actually very cute for asking. One thing's for sure. I love who I am. I'm awesome. My papa tells me this when we have one of our talks after I get home. You reside under the same roof as your father. Yes, ma'am. My mother, too. I take care of them. I see. Well. Don't miss your bus on my account. You're not only beautiful. You can read minds, too. Lucky guess. It's cool. You're a smart lady. I'm about to buy this truck. Why? Why what? Why on earth? Are you telling me all of this? Come on. You have a lot of degrees, I'm sure. Isn't it obvious? Yes, it certainly is. Don't judge me. It doesn't look good on you to put people down. You want my personal number, don't you? You want to call me tonight, so we can get deep. Hell yeah. Not in a million years. I think you like me and want to know more about me. Be honest. That's why you're still here talking to me. Don't flatter yourself. Anyway, you're not my type. You think you're out of my league? I know all about you. Mr. Potential Man, your check is in the mail but it's really waiting to be sent. That's what you tell your women and bill collectors, am I right? Ma'am. I didn't do anything to you. Okay. I'm trying to be of service. If you'll let me. I see how you're treating me already. I don't know you. Now if you'll excuse me. No need to avoid me. That's what I'm here for. To give you what you need. You don't have anything I want. Positive about that. You have ten minutes left on your shift. I'd hate for you to waste any more time with me. It's never a waste. Your beauty and smile is amazing. Heavens. Why me up there? My apology, I'm not trying to be rude. Stress you out. Or nothing like that. I'm a busy woman. So let me do my job. Is that okay with you? And what position would that be I saw you at the security desk? Ma'am. You would be absolutely correct. I do different things. I handle custodial. And maintenance. As well. Very good. Thank you, Michael. I'm all set. Beautiful. No problem. Selfish, I want you all to myself. And you should know there's nothing better than the cause that you've dealt. Oh, hello. I'm so happy to see you. How are you doing? Better than you, clearly. Much like this neighborhood, 
I had a rough day. How about yours? You don't have to be afraid. I'm just making conversation. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Just about. We talked on the phone many times. Your voice isn't ringing a bell. Wow. My, my, my. How memory fails us. They've programmed you too. It's a shame. Excuse me. Oh, don't mean to offend. You're the Goldman's secretary. Am I right? No. Well, who are you then? No one you need to worry about. There is literally, and totally, no way any of that even sounds in the same galaxy of the truth. Look, if people don't want to be there, they're not going to be there. You are no one one this planet can stop them. I told him, I understand rules are rules. But where's the compassion? Show the good part of you, the full dimension of your character, if it exists. I understand. I get it. Anyway, thank God for 911. Otherwise, who knows what could have happened to me? Jack. He's not in the business of giving me a windfall of love anymore. Or making me whole. At least from when I met him, he cared enough to make me satisfied. He knows I just want to be loved while I'm alive. Not crying while dying alone, needing help. You said you made it to the hospital. Yes, I'm good now. Thank you. Love yourself enough to leave the table when respect is no longer being served. Pretty identical. Me and hungry wolves. Barking at the moon. Are exactly the same. No results. I learned the same lesson. Woman to woman. Care to share what happened? I'd rather not. Same old treatment. Different place. Carrying on. When are these idiot women going to realize the Dominican Republic is the number one capital of the world of prostitution? Never, I guess. You and I both think the same on these matters. They don't even know there's a name for these men. Passport brothers. All nationalities. Correct. Women should never smile and brag to people that he's flown himself to get his dick riddled with disease as his man weave flaps in the wind. You're blunt and straight to it. Talk about it, sister. The world is a very scary place. I'm going to do what it takes to protect myself and this life of mine. I wipe my ass with 500. What's that gonna do for me? It was just a starting offer to get things rolling on the right track. Murder. I want to get rid of him. Like he's killed the dignity of my family. You've lost your mind. He's a cold-blooded demon, can't you understand? There's a special wonderful place for him to sizzle to a crisp in hell. Don't talk that way about Mr. Goldman. Are you insane you're in public lady get a grip? No, dear. I'm very sane. I hate this man. Isn't it obvious? You said he owns the gas station you work for. Come to reality before you lose your only source of below minimum wage income. I don't care. This sick fantasy you have will never come true. I hope he gets to hell with a paper suit on. Covered in gasoline, from the shitty place, I bleed my knuckles. What you're saying is evil. I want him dead, I want flies on him, I'm sick of him. Enough already, you've had your fun, stop talking crazy. Anyway. We're waiting for the same bus, clearly we have a lot in common. How about we have lunch sometime, it would be awesome. I need a friend, how about you? 
I think I see our bus arriving. What a dreadful cold response. I don't care either then. A pretty woman with a bag like that must have lots of friends. <laughs>